some time. Good to see you. May your day be fruitful. There's so little food. I promise that you'll just know. Be on your guard out there, Outlander. Oh, hi. So's back. <coughs> what anyway, is she doing to Law? All of the land gods have been updated. Now to send out the reboot signal. To all of them. Do, T, So, and the rest. She called it a reboot sequence. But I didn't think it would be so beautiful. Soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did. Zo, the chorus wants a word. Of course they do. Do you want me to come? No need. I'll just tell them that our lands will soon bloom again. Who are they to argue? Find me later, and I'll tell you how it went. Good luck. impression on the clan lands. Saving the Desert Clan from itself? Forcing the Commander Takote out of hiding? Defending the Grove from Regala? I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's this song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands, the Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try the Metal Weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villagers southwest of here. You be doing me and playing song a favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. 
I didn't think the Tanakh cared much about gifts. When I first moved here, I remember some days were more difficult than others. But I came to embrace the life I found here, and I, I don't see why I can't help Corey do the same. He's lucky to have you. Tell me more about this long leg. It's a particularly nasty one. Looks different, too. Tainted like the lands around here used to be. It protects a group of machines that overran a small outpost southwest of Plain Song. Its call is easy enough to track, but if it spots us, it'll call reinforcements faster than you can draw your bow. Take it out with the rest of those machines, though. Plain Song has one less problem to deal with, and Corey gets to play his melody. Victory for all. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. No running! Ugh. Never mind. Try using something other than shocking her. Jax is in trouble. Hey, Lord! Nice of you to join me. I thought you could use the backup. you, Aloy. You okay? You arrived not a moment too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught unaware by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it.
Sounds like our long legs at the top of that cliff. Oh, looks like we're climbing. We'll make quick work of it. This reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off to hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru students become fighters worthy of any Tanakh clan. I felt useful, like I belong. And so plain song became home. I'm sure Corey will find his place too. I hope so. Almost there. It sounds like that long leg isn't alone up there. I'm afraid you might be right. There's our long leg. And the Utaru it fell. It might be best to silence it before it can be the It's time to make a little noise. We'll do a lot of damage here. To show me our prize, Huntress. Hey, Lord, a word before we go. There's one last thing, Huntress. Many thanks, Aloy. Without you, I might have been in trouble. Why don't you take that piece to Corey for me? The villagers felled by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? Tell Corey I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return.
My focus has detected another flight recorder. So, are you there? I'm in plain song and it's amazing. It's just like you said, the fields are back in bloom. And we have you to thank for it. If you hadn't come along, the Utaru would still be starving, under siege by machines. Oh, I'm just glad it worked out. Yes. First plain song. Next, the world. If you want to encourage your next Aloy? I thought you had left Plainsong. Well, I thought about it, but then I'd have to carry this long like throat all by myself. You found? Jax did. <laughs> that old man. Can still hear perfectly fine. So let's hear it. I'm gonna need some help. Aloy, can you take this to the workbench, please? You won't have to do much, I promise. You'll see a wide okay. cavity on the instrument. That piece light. should fit right in. Hey, Lord, let us see your handiwork. I think it's good to go. song of two peoples indeed. Thank you, Aloy. My debt to you seems to only grow. Hearing that was payment enough. That may be, but you should at least take this. You deserve it. May the wings of the ten hearten your step. We stalk, we strike in the hunt and in business.
Dead Osram. And some equipment around that pool. Are they mining for greenshine underwater? some debris and couldn't get back to the surface. Stuff. It's awesome. We're trying to scrape up every last piece of it. And now this cavern's a watery grave.
Fast down, we'll make this go quick. 